Well, guys, before checking out uh, Saratoga Springs Road again, you know, I was there yesterday. Uh, let's go check out the cabin, right? The road to the cabin. This is usually pretty well uh, graded, but looks like it washed out. I don't see any tracks out here. So. I doubt anyone's been out here. Cabin, what cabin? The cabin. We'll go check it out. I'm almost there. The road is really washed out through here. Shoot, there it is. I need to cut across somehow. Right here. Put the camera down, I think. Alright. Oh, oh. We're here. Oh, not much has changed. Pile of wood. I'm surprised somebody would build this cabin out here in this uh, in a wash. <laughs> Surviving. Check it out. I can go for a shower, right? Cool, huh? Yeah. Whoops. Somebody forgot to put uh, the plumbing in. Must be like one of them track homes, right? <laughs> it's just for looks. Don't look in the walls. Uh, let's see if this camera will pick up in the low light and there. It's pretty dark. And it's hot in there. Yeah, so if you're ever at these cabins, make sure you close the doors and secure them, you know, with the little latches. Otherwise, the wind will whip these doors around all day long and, and rip them off the hinges. Oh, God, this is blazing hot. So there's... There's four bunks in here, a table, there's a log book, there's your stove, what else do you need, all right? It's blazing hot, got a little wash basin there, trash can or something. That's about it, I slept in here uh, one night right there, right there, yeah. It was like 90 degrees at night. <laughs> there was a ladder to get up there, I didn't notice that. There was a hole in the floor. I think it's still there. Nobody fixed the hole, but maybe they did. And that was a bigger hole. Yeah, that's no good. Yeah, gotta remember that next time. Bring the tools and put a put a piece of wood in there, right? Oh, much cooler out here. It's a, it's a sauna in there. Well, guys, I'm out here. I made it. Came in that way. It's really rutted out. Thought I would stop by and look around. Don't look like anybody's been out here since uh, uh, July the 22nd, according to the book, the log book. And like I said, I didn't see any tracks coming in. Zero. What a place to build a cabin, huh? <laughs> right out here in this wash. I'd assume it's not a not the place you want to be if it's raining, right? <laughs> Might have a tough time getting out of here. Oh, wind feels good. It's 106, but it feels good.
All right, guys, it's about noon, and I just come from the cabin. Beautiful view. It's hot out here, though. It's like, uh, hmm. I mean, I've never. I'm thinking. I go barefoot a lot, but I don't remember feeling the sun on my feet before, you know? Like, my toes feel hot. I can feel the sun just from the, on my toes for some reason. Hmm. The truck says it's 105, so it's not that bad. Heck, I've been out at work doing construction, laying pipe in the ground at 107 degrees. Freaking sucks. <laughs> But anyway, um, it's like, where to now? Out that way is Ibex Dunes, but can't get there. Well, I couldn't get there yesterday because the river was flowing. So I'm thinking, uh, let's go check it out again, and uh, maybe I can cross it. It was, uh, it was flowing. It was only knee high, but there were some spots in there with some soft sand where you just sink. And uh, there's no place to get stuck because I haven't seen anybody else out here, right? Just play it safe. I got plenty of water. I got food. I got two ways. I got cell phone service, which is surprisingly beautiful clouds out there. Look at that. Awesome. Wow, amazing. So let's uh, cruise on down, and I think I'm going to try to rig up my little shower thing, my little shower pump I bought. Except I don't have a, I don't have a bucket to put water in, so I'm like, I got a pen. I was hoping to find a bucket there at that cabin, but no, I didn't see no buckets there either. This is where I pour the water out, just enough for a shower, you know, just to rinse off. Been sweating last night. I got up like 1:30 a.m. It was 93 degrees. My pillow was all soaking wet. I had to flip it over. And, you know, you're all you're not sweaty. You're clammy. What, what do you call that? Yeah, it's just like you're all you're all moist. Yeah. All right, so let's cruise down we got a nice breeze blowing that's making it uh, doable if it wasn't for that I'd be like man let's get the hell out of here it's good for me it's good for the truck you know I got the wind blowing through the engine we're good all right guys this is the the road to Saratoga Springs so I was yesterday and the water was flowing so now you can see it's it's dry. Should be good, right? Yeah, those are my footprints from yesterday. But you know, I was thinking, okay, yeah, let's do this, right? Now, yeah, there's a, there's a man. There's soft spots out here. When I went out this way, it was okay, but like right here in the middle, I think this was it. I, yeah, I sank into my. To my knees here. Let's see, which one was it? Oh, right here. I think, no? Where were we at now? Sure, I think it was right here, right here in the middle. Hmm. So remember, walk this stuff before you cross it. It might look dry on top, but there's, I assume there's still water running underneath, beneath this, look at that. I was gonna cross, man, I'm tempted to. I'm going to go in this way, but... Well, 
Look at that, right there. If I had another vehicle, I'd say, yeah, let's go for it. But, this blows. I'd be stuck here. Like I said, I haven't seen anybody. I've been out here, what, yesterday and today? Nobody out here. I just sit here and wait, and hopefully the water don't come back, right? <laughs> sit here like a dumbbell. Dumbbell, yeah. And then there's more, there's got to be some more water crossings over there because uh, that's the way I remember it. Man, it's hot out here. Got out of the truck barefoot, man. That little short little walk there, that ground is hot. All right, guys, since, uh, since there's some soft spots still there and I haven't seen anybody out here, you know, this is day two. Let's not risk it, but let's go walking a little further here down the road. That's pretty, this should be pretty safe, right? Because I know the water flows even more further over here somewhere. So I got my water. I got my liter of water. Put some sunscreen on. Let's go for a walk. Flip-flop walk. The ground's way too hot for barefoot. So this is Saratoga Springs Road. Go a little further up and it goes to the left. And the springs are... Springs are out there somewhere. That road follows the base of the foothills there. Uh, I'm surprised there's no water flowing through here. Hmm. Quite amazing. I just come from that way. See, water apparently does get this, flood this out. This is like a flood plain. And there was water flowing where my truck's parked over there yesterday, but not as much as there was further down. So maybe it flows underground, right? I assume. Because you think this would be all flooded out right now. So, uh, during nor normal times, this road is doable in a two-wheel drive. Uh, if you continue on that way, uh, there's deep sand up there. You don't want to go that way. Not in a two-wheel drive. There's Ibex dunes right over there. A little too hot for hiking the dunes right now. Go on back to the truck. Let's stop get some water first, right? Well, that was an easy walk. It's awesome out here. Maybe I should have took an umbrella, right? But, uh, yeah, let's, uh, Go walk across here. It's drying up, but I don't know. Like I said, I can't afford to get stuck out here. Oh, let's leave those there. I can barely afford fuel, so I don't want to come out here and get stuck or break down or anything like that. Just getting by here. See, it's pretty, it's pretty solid now. Hmm. I think I could do it. I might lower the tires down more, down to maybe 10 PSI. But why? What's on the other side? 